they take it very lightly and they get eliminated in the first round itself so coding everybody lose but like first is aptitude so be thorough with that aptitude currently i am working as a software developer at exilia group Hi and welcome to Coding Ninjas, guys. I'm Kabir Singh, and I'm here with another awesome interview experience for you guys. So today we're going to talk to Abhishek Vishwakarma, and we're going to understand how he actually gave the interview at Quantify. So basically, we are going to understand each and every round, wherein how many questions were there, what was the duration, and then how did he solve those questions? Were they easy for him, medium or hard for him? And other than that, we'll also discuss the HR round as well. Also, we'll try asking him some tips and tricks in the end. and see how it goes so hi abhishek how are you doing great sir it's everything good sir good 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 uh, abhishek can you give me a small introduction about yourself hello everyone my name is abhishek vishwakarma i have graduated in 2022 from thebir institute of engineering currently i am working as a software developer at exilia group and also i had taken a course from coding ninjas which helped me throughout my placement and coding rounds and all okay that's great that's great so abhishek can you tell me how many rounds were there when you sat for the interview at quantify so at quantify i had three rounds first like every company takes that was the aptitude round with combined with coding like the coding and aptitude round were together second i had the technical interview and third it was the hr round okay so there were total three rounds other than that no screening round no shortlisting round you started with these uh, only yes we started with this only okay that's great so when we come and you know try briefing of the first round for the students who are watching this video can we try and understand what happened in the first round what was the duration of the round how many questions were asked and you know how easy was this to solve can you just brief it up yes so as i mentioned the first round was the aptitude round so mm-hmm. it was the first round of elimination so okay. it consisted of seven sections okay. like the first was the logical section then second we have quantitative and verbal and okay. in the third section like we have combined of html css and javascript like the basics of web development mm-hmm. and the fourth round was like on based on sql like you need to write some queries and you need to say like find the name of person whose manager is this this so like you have to write some queries on that then yeah. the fifth section it was based on probabilities in our campus quantify came for three roles like first was machine learning engineering second uh-huh. was business analyst and third was software developments so okay. on the basis of the aptitude they were shortlisting like who will get what role so like if you perform well in verbal and all you will get business analyst if you are good in coding and all so you will get in software development and if you like i mentioned there was one section for probability that was for machine learning so amongst all i found that the probability section was too hard like okay. for me it was too hard and after probability we had some code snippets like of c java c++ where we need to find the output and okay. the last section was machine learning plus coding round so okay. in that there was two mcqs for machine learning and there was one coding question and this total seven for this total seven sections we were given around 90 minutes so that was great round i had cleared that round easily that's great so when i talk about seven sections out there like, which is a lot like when you talk about one round in one round you have seven different sections and solving yes. those seven sections in 90 minutes So if there's a normal average student out there what would be the difficulty level for that student or maybe for you was it easy medium or hard I would say the difficulty level was medium but like I had solved many problems on websites like India Big Send all so mm-hmm. for me those questions were like I have gone through this question so for me that was easy but for an okay. average student I would say that the difficulty level was between easy and medium Okay that's like great. If you are thorough with your basics then the round was between easy and medium. That's great. That's great. Coming up to the second round what actually happened in the second round after that? So after I cleared my aptitude I got a mail regarding that I have cleared my aptitude section and mm-hmm. I was invited for my first round of interview. Mm-hmm. So this was a technical interview where okay. I and in the interview we started the interview by greeting ourselves. so mm-hmm. the first section like he asked was on computer networking so the questions were like osi layers differentiate between tcp and udp and then dns like the basics of computer networking so uh, that section was very easy because okay. i have studied and all after this he started asking questions on cloud computing so like he first asked me like do you know cloud computing so i don't know much of cloud computing so 
he said like which platforms you are aware so i said like aws gcp like azure and like the basic which we all know so after that like he asked some questions on cloud computing but i wasn't familiar with cloud computing much so i told him like i am not much into cloud computing so after that he started asking me basic linux command Okay. Uh, any five commands, like everybody knows, any five commands we can see them. We have ls, ls, ltr, mkdir, and all we can see that. And after the second question was like, do you know of uh, networking commands in Linux? So mm-hmm. I don't know about networking commands. So I said him like, no, I don't know. Okay. So after that, he went through my resume and he saw my projects. So like we had a discussion about uh, my projects. He told me like explain which tech stack you have used, why you have used that Correct. tech stack, and I have told him everything about the projects. And um, apart from that, he was asking me like what have I done in college apart from academics. So I have mentioned him like. i was the head of my alumni committee and all like i have arranged several events and all this was like my first round of technical interview after this technical interview i got a mail regarding that i have cleared this interview and i have to be uh, get prepared for the second round okay. that was the hr round correct okay and what happened in the hr round again the hr round started by greeting ourselves it was basic hr questions like uh, why do you want to join this company and all like uh, which right. you can find on google Correct. so after that the hr gave me a situation it was a situation like something i don't remember much but like something of streams of frame of cctv and i have to detect suspicious activity so how would i do that so i told her my approach but she wasn't convinced but from there i thought like i was rejected in that round the approach okay. which i said to that situation was not convincing to her okay so if i talk about the entire interview process was it very smooth easy for you ya fir you found some places where in you got stuck actually the interview process was smooth and easy but like as i mentioned like uh, you need to be thorough with your basics and all. right so if you are good with your basics then you can crack any interview right. so, so talking about me, the interview experience and all since you've cracked so many companies I just want to ask you one question what would you advise your juniors watching this video to do and uh, you know to follow so that they can get good placements as i mentioned for any company the first round would be the aptitude round because mm-hmm. i see many people they don't study aptitude they are like it's just aptitude they take it very lightly and they get eliminated in the first round itself so like i would mention like coding everybody knows but like first is aptitude so be thorough with that aptitude you can go to indiabix.com and practice there for aptitude and for coding problems like we have our coding in just platform so we can solve there also problem and also be thorough with your basics so that will help right. a lot uh, while preparing the interviews right thank you so much abhishek for guiding us with your interview experience and i hope people finding this handy when they sit for interviews like this also guys abhishek has written an article on this entire interview experience with the problems mentioned that he was asked in the interview i'll place the link in the description below you can have a look and uh, you know practice those problems as well for quantify and i hope you guys uh, hit the like button and the subscribe button to the channel and i'll see you in the next one happy coding guys